For those who want to have an unusual pet at home, experts advise to pay attention to the leopard gecko eublifer. This lizard is suitable for both advanced lovers of reptiles and beginners. Caring for her is easy, and her character will not create problems. She is a peaceful and positive creature, easily attached to a person and able to show her love. Origin and Description The leopard gecko was described by the English zoologist Edward Bly in 1854. The insectivorous lizard is native to Pakistan, Iran, and Afghanistan. Lives in the desert is nocturnal. The leopard gecko is not listed as an endangered species. Eublifer is a lizard with many spots or no spots at all, depending on the variant of this species. If there are several color variations of the leopard gecko with a typical pattern, as well as albinos, lizard, mandarin and other popular varieties. Young geckos do not yet have spots, but they appear as they mature. Leopard geckos grow up to 20 centimeters in length and weigh 150 to 220 grams. Lizards of any variety of this species require the same care. Leopard geckos live 5 to 7 years and with good care up to 20 years. You can tell a male from a female by the ledge at the base of the tail. In the female, this is one long bulge. In the male it is divided into two parts. The head of the animal is large, pointed, connected to the body by a short thick neck. A pair of nostrils are located at the end of the muzzle. There are large guards on the chin. On the sides of the head, the openings of the auditory canals are visible, covered by the eardrum. The lizard's eyes are large, oval and prominent, which is typical of nocturnal animals. Pupils in the form of a slit with a straight edge, located vertically. Unlike many geckos, the spotted leopard gecko has movable eyelids and a thin blinking membrane. There are eyelash-like outgrowths at the back of the upper eyelid. The mouth is voluminous, its corners are bent slightly upward. For this, the gecko is often called the smiling gecko. This kind mouth is filled with 100 small teeth, which are designed to hold and chew on prey for a short time. Teeth are found on both jaws and are attached to the inside of the bone. This connection is fragile, plurident, so the teeth are alternately replaced with new ones every three to four months, while young growing teeth are next to the old ones. The body of the spotted leopard gecko is covered with soft to the touch, but very durable skin. In nature, it protects the lizard from injury that can be caused by grains of sand, sharp stones and dry clay. From above, the skin is covered with small scales, among which large cone-shaped scales stand out. These warts have a thermoregulatory function. They promote heat buildup and prevent heat loss. The body is thick and slightly flattened. Compared to a viviparous and quick lizard, the eublifer seems awkward. He moves slowly, waddling from side to side. The tail of a reptile is thick in the middle, pointed, decorated with two to three lilac rings. It serves as a storage facility for adipose tissue. Because spotted leopard gecko live in arid regions, they use this reserve during dry periods as a source of water and during periods of famine as nutrients. Lizards can discard all or part of their tail. This happens especially often with young individuals. From fear, pain, or to protect themselves from persecution, they contract special muscles, which contribute to autotomy. Autotomy is the throwing away of a limb or organ by an animal. In young lizards, the tail grows quickly, in old lizards, the regeneration process takes a long time. The new tail will not be as long as it was before, but it will be thicker. It differs in color, the scales on it are smaller, and the tubercles are absent. If in nature the tail is thrown off before wintering, then the animal is left without strategic reserves, it can get sick and even die. Typically, gecifers return to the place where they have lost such a nutritious part of their body and eat it. The legs of a reptile are of medium length, cylindrical, with five widened toes, rounded at the end, devoid of suction pads. There are tubercles on the subdigital plates. All fingers of each foot are rounded, equipped with thin sharp claws that help the animal climb vertical soft surfaces, such as branches and leaves. There are no denticles along the edges of the fingers, characteristic of lizards living in deserts. The armpits of the forelegs of the spotted leopard geckos are transformed into deep dermal pockets, their purpose has not yet been clarified. Young reptiles are yellowish or flesh-colored with dark stripes on the body and a dark brown cap on the head. There is a light pattern on the cap in the area of the eyes and near the crown of the head, which looks like a bird's footprint. By the age of eight months, geese become adults and then their color changes. In mature animals, a pattern of brown spots is placed on a light gray or light yellow background, which is more saturated on the body. On the underside of the tail and head, the spots are less bright and on the abdomen they are not at all. The combination of numerous dark brown spots and light thin gaps between them creates a mesh pattern on the head. A light stripe, more or less free of spots, stretches along the spine. The abdomen of the leopard gecko is pale pink, the sides are white. And here's how the lizard senses work. Hearing is well developed in leopard gecko. It allows you to spot prey while hunting. 
Nocturnal animals see only black and white colors. But vision helps them remember the place of laying eggs and constantly return to it to leave new offspring. In eublifers, taste buds are developed. Animals distinguish sweet things well, but are not very sensitive to bitter ones. The sense of smell is less developed than other senses, but at a short distance, the geese can find objects by smell. Lizards can breathe freely even with food in their mouths, as reptiles have internal nostrils located next to the throat. In addition, lizards have a vomeronasal organ, or Jacobson's organ, which is located on the upper palate. This is the peripheral part of the additional olfactory system of some vertebrates. Thanks to him, reptiles smell food in their mouths and also recognize the smells that surround them. To determine what is around, the lizard often sticks out its tongue, the signal from which goes to the olfactory cavity, to Jacobson's organ. There are suggestions that Gisifers are guided by the Earth's magnetic field in the same way as birds are able to do. When in danger, Eublifers emit hissing sounds. Terrarium content. For one gecko or a pair, 50 liters is enough. Of course, more volume will only be better, especially if you plan to breed them. You don't have to put a covered glass on the terrarium, since the Eublifers cannot climb on smooth surfaces, they have undeveloped suckers on their paws like other gecko species. However, if you have cats, dogs at home, then it is better to cover the terrarium, as they pose a serious danger to geckos. Well, do not forget that crickets and other insects can also escape from it, and you hardly need them in the house. Several sexually mature females will get along well together if they are about the same size, but males are pugnacious and will fight. A male and several females will also get along, but it is better not to keep them together until they have reached sexually mature sizes, about 45 grams for both the male and the female. If you purchased a young couple and plan to keep them together, then it is better to grow separately. Why? Males grow faster and are larger than females, especially if they are raised together. The larger male is more active and aggressive, he eats faster, often takes food from the female, or simply terrorizes her. In addition, he becomes sexually mature earlier and begins mating games with the female, which is often not ready. Often, females weighing 25 to 30 grams lay eggs, but they are still too small. This shortens their lifespan, is stressful and reduces potential. If you are raising several females together, remember that sometimes one of them grows faster and may take feed from the mates. If the sizes are very different, then it is better to plant them in different terrariums. What to feed the spotted eublifer with? In nature, leopards mainly hunt insects, but sometimes they can profit from their own kind, only smaller in size, congeners. The favorite food of spotted geese at home is crickets. The Turkmen cockroach has also proven itself well as a food item, since it is very soft and easily multiplies, without requiring special conditions. Eating it, the eublifer even squints with pleasure. Marble and larvae of Madagascar cockroaches are well eaten. Mealworms can also be included in the diet of eublifers. Before serving the insects to the table, it is advisable to feed them with various herbs and then sprinkle them with vitamins for reptiles or calcium powder, this is especially important for females during the breeding season. Some individuals will not give up newborn mice, but often they should not be given. Do not forget that the gecko is still an insectivorous reptile. Spotted geese do not eat various fruits, berries and other vegetation. Feeding a leopard gecko is fun. It is advisable to present the food to him from the hander with tweezers, this way the reptile will receive its portion and will not swallow pebbles when hunting, and you will be sure that there are no cockroaches that could escape and lead a wild lifestyle in your apartment in the terrarium. Moreover, the eublifer will gladly accept the proposed food in this form. In addition, hand feeding will speed up the taming process. Hunting for food, the gecko stands on its outstretched legs and briefly taps its tail. In the summertime, a variety of orthoptera from the grasshopper and locust families can be caught in the lizard meadow. This should be done away from agricultural fields and vegetable gardens, as insects can be poisoned by pesticides. Heating. Leopards are cold-blooded lizards and need warmth to digest their food. Bottom heating will be the best option for this. To do this, you can use a thermal cord, thermal mat or shoe dryers. The temperature in the heating area should not exceed 32 degrees Celsius. It can be adjusted with a thermometer and soil thickness when installing heating devices. Heating is placed in the corner of the terrarium, heating from 25 to 33 percent of the bottom area, while reaching a temperature gradient in the lizard dwelling. At room temperature not lower than 22 degrees Celsius, heating can be turned off at night. Babies up to three months old need constant heating. Shelters. In a lizard's home, there should be several hiding places in warm and cold corners. And the eublifer itself will make the choice of a more comfortable place. And also do not forget about the necessary area of the terrarium, a humid chamber, which should be located in a warm corner where the animal will molt. We will talk about it a little later. 
you can use inexpensive, practical and environmentally friendly shelters made from half a coconut, which have proven themselves and are loved by the toothbrush. And also it is not a problem to order a decor or a shelter from a master or do it yourself. Priming. As a soil in the dwelling of the eublifer, they make a mound of large pebbles and stones, but not sea and river ones, since they are slippery for the pet's paws. So that the animal does not accidentally swallow the stones, their size must be appropriate. It is advisable not to use ordinary sand, otherwise the eublifer will have problems with digestion if it is swallowed. Special carpets are very suitable for terrariums. It is safe, beautiful and convenient when cleaning an animal's home. Any soft doormat will work fine too. Babies should be kept exclusively on paper towels or napkins. Water. Any low and small capacity is suitable for a drinker. Jeblifairy lizards like to drink clean, settled water, lapping it with their tongue like kittens. And they also gladly lick droplets of fresh water, and with daily spraying there is no special need for a drinker, although it will never be superfluous. Lighting. The eublifer gecko is a crepuscular animal and therefore does not need lighting. For it, a conventional 25 to 40 watt incandescent mirror lamp is quite suitable to simulate solar heating. Although the best option is bottom heating with a thermal mat, thermal stone or thermal cord. Ultraviolet radiation is also a necessary element that ensures the synthesis of vitamin D3 in an animal. For this, special ultraviolet lamps are used. Although, if you add the necessary vitamins and minerals to the pet's food and provide it with lower heating, then it will not need an ultraviolet emitting lamp. The fact is that the vitamin complex in combination with the correct thermal regime provides the animal with vitamin D3 in full. It is important to know that albino geese do not like bright light. Therefore, when using lamps, this circumstance must be taken into account and, if possible, consult an appropriate specialist. How long does the spotted leopard gecko live? The average lifespan of the spotted leopard gecko in captivity is 12 to 15 years, maximum 20 to 25 years. Under natural conditions, the life of males is 8 to 10 years, constantly giving offspring of females is 2 to 3 years, single females are 5 to 8 years. Selection rules when buying. When purchasing a eublifer, it is important to make sure of its health. To do this, you need to carefully examine it to check if it meets the following criteria. Juveniles and adults should have a thick, long, powerful tail. It is there that the lizard stores all the nutrients accumulated by the body. If the tail is not thick and long enough, this means that the animal's nutrition was scarce and the previous owner did not look after him well. This is not the case for small, newly hatched geckos that are actively growing. It is possible to determine gender only at the age of six months. Therefore, the second and subsequent geckos need to be bought not earlier than this period so as not to play several males in one terrarium. The belly should be fairly thick but not bloated, otherwise illness or pregnancy can be suspected. Hanging sides indicate obesity. The lizard's behavior should be energetic, not apathetic and lethargic. It should not stagger when walking. There should be no minor abrasions and scratches on the skin surface. Their presence indicates that the owner kept several males together. It is worth remembering that a gecko acquired by a young one may subsequently change its color. Therefore, if the appearance of the eublifer is important, it is better to buy an adult. Price range. Pure leopard geckos are usually $20 to $40, while Morse can fetch prices well over $100, depending upon the pattern or lack thereof. You can buy a leopard gecko for sale on our main website. Species notes, leopard geckos can live and breed at 20 years of age, so they are unusually long-lived reptiles.